Okay, so uh, this is going to be a tech demo real quick. So I just got finished, I mean literally just finished, uh, with the missile magazines. This is what I've been working on today along with uh, checking and improving code. Um, so the magazines are designed to help you store a lot of missiles up that you have crafted and built in order for them to be automatically pushed into the silos and launched. As you can see, the system is actually working perfect. We got a little cart that is basically moving a missile from the back to the front, creating a queue first in first out for those of you that are programmers um, so it's running around picking a missile up off of the front we'll see it pick up this is a uh, loading rail right here so this will stop right here pick the missile up and it moves as quick quick um, I'm gonna add delay to this and I'm gonna add delay to the other one so that way there's a slight delay in the movement it'll be like maybe like half a second so it'll be 10 ticks that way you don't just see it instantaneously work um, although this tangentially work works better for logic and everything on my side and on your guys' side, it isn't realistic. But yeah, as you can see, this is working. It, it'll push uh, the missile in the direction. These are rotatable. The models um, at, in this current version are do not rotate with the rotation. But if I place this, uh, you can click it with a wrench and it'll tell you what direction it's facing. And then you could just use F3 to figure out what direction you're facing. It's not too hard. Uh, these can input from any side. So if I actually pop this up, as a demo. Um, so I want this to face east. Okay, that's facing east. I want this to face north. And this one needs to face west. Okay, so if I pop a missile in here, and it'll quickly pop over here, and if I put these in here, you'll see that as soon as I take this one out, one of those missiles will pop in, and then I can get rid of these real quick. I can pull this one out. I accidentally just placed it back in. Yeah, creative mode, when you click on these, will automatically um, place it in without consuming the item, so you can do creative mode stuff. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it works. So you can do multiple inputs in here. So you can have like big triage arrays of storage that you can use. Um, I'm going to be improving these. I'm going to make a version of this that does not have a model. So for you guys that have issues with FPS but still want to store things and don't really care if you can see the missile. I'll give you guys a, a non-modeled variation of this here later. Uh, I'll also be doing a lot of other improvements to this. There'll be logical um, control over these, so there'll be a way you can delay how quickly it transitions. That way, say you want to change the ordering of the missile, so you want to have a fire missile go in first, an EMP, and then like a contagion missile, and they're all three coming from different directions. You can change the delay on these to guarantee that it's the ordering is always the first one, second one, then third one. But uh, that's pretty straightforward here. Um, the silo should work. I haven't actually tested the silos with these yet, but we'll go ahead and test this. If it fails on the demo, yeah, this is a demo after all. Um, there is always going to be bugs to work out. The models right now, oh, well, as I said, this is a demo, so that broke. I'm going to stop this here. I will show the silo working here later as soon as I fix whatever is wrong with it. As I said, I didn't test before this video, and I barely put any code effort into it to uh, get it running. I just threw some code up on it, and it's good to go. But that's it for the moment. I'll add some more videos here later.